All right, the purpose of today's video is twofold. One, to document a very rare pair of Western electric speakers. And two, I plan to put these on eBay, so I wanted to uh, document them quite well for potential buyers. Oh, the purpose of today's video is to document a set of very rare speakers. What we have here are a pair of Western Electric KS12046-L1 enclosures. And inside of that is a pair of KS-14073, otherwise known as Altec 755A speakers. And they also have on each one a KS12048 uh, transformer. Both of these speakers came from an old retired Bell Labs uh, associate, and I'm not sure how they came across them over the years, but uh, ultimately I've ended up with them. If you'll notice, there are some slight subtle differences between uh, this I've labeled speaker number one and this I've labeled speaker number two. Speaker number one, the, uh, the lines here on the grill cloth go up and down or vertical, and here on this number two, the speaker grill lines go horizontal um, in the unit. Um, speaker number one and number two, I would say I would rate both of those probably about a, a six and a half or a seven out of ten uh, quality wise. They've got some spray paint overspray on here in a few spaces you can see. And you can see here a few scratch places around um, on these. So they're not perfect, but I think for their age these are in really, really good shape. And um, we're going to turn around and show you the backs of these. As you can see, a side view here of number one and number two. A few little scratch places here, a little bit of paint, uh, maybe where they came along and painted the wall that this was hanging. This was likely hanging in a telecom closet of some sort for years and years, and uh, they probably painted the wall around it. Let me turn these around. You can see um, the back side of both of these and I disconnected these. They were both connected here up to line but I disconnected them in uh, testing of the speakers. And you can see both of them are still sealed up here with the uh, Altec 755's inside. They both have matching uh, KS12048 transformers right here and as you can tell both of these cabinets are original Western Electric. You'll see that more here in a minute. Uh, but if we spin them on around um, you can see the whoops. Oh, you can see the uh, the other sides of these units as well. Um, there again, a couple little holes here, a little bit of uh, scratch there, some overspray of paint, which may clean up to be honest. And if you kind of look at the top sides of them, um, you can see they're in fairly good shape. This one does have a little bit of a nick right here on the top side, and as you can see, this one has a mounting bracket here on the uh, back side. Okay, this gets interesting because this unit actually came with this board on the back of it right here. And the board actually goes upside down like this. And it actually has a locking mechanism where it just snaps into place here and locks onto the back of the speaker. And then you can see the lug here that would hold this against the wall and a chain that it would hang from. Um, if you take this back panel off, as you can see on the inside here is a schematic uh, and it tells you here KS12046 um, L1 and it talks about the uh, KS12048 transformer and the KS14073 speaker on the inside here. So you've got the diagrams. Only um, number two here has this board. Number one does not have the board. Um, number one you can see they mounted it directly on the back but um, I do have the wiring diagram. It was on the inside here of this board. I do have the wiring diagram for number one here um, that's inside of a Ziploc bag at this point in time. Okay, you can see both units with the back covers removed. They still have the original Western Electric uh, kind of baffling here on both the back covers. As you can see here, they're marked Western Electric. Uh, this one's 02421. And this one's Western Electric 86011, assuming those may be serial numbers of the cabinets. You can both you can see both speakers match. They are the original Western Electric KS14073 labeled, and I'll show you that better in some pictures. Um, and they're also in the gray hammer tone color um, of the age. And you can see they've never been taken out of these speaker cabinets ever um, and are still mounted in. You can see all the little seal holes here 
um, are still sealed up. These speakers have never been taken apart. Um, similarly on this one here, same thing, the original gray hammer tone and these speakers have never been taken out of these cabinets nor taken apart. Um, next we're going to take these units to the bench and actually let you uh, hear both speakers and we'll run some analysis on them. Alright, we've got a calibrated microphone, external microphone here from Dayton Audio. We're using the Larsa tool set from uh, 6 Studio Digital to measure the frequency response of uh, these speakers. And we're going to run our first test here. Um, let's see. What this does is it kind of plots across all of the full frequency spectrum. And you can really see these speakers, even though they're producing something down here around 40, 60, 80 hertz, they really don't come into play up here to about 150 to 200 hertz. And then they play pretty strong all the way out here past 10K and then start, start to drop off some. And that was speaker number one, with this being speaker number two. And as you can see, it's a very, very similar plot here. Uh, really doesn't pick in, pick up, kick in well till up here around 150-ish, well, a little over 100 hertz here. And it continues on down the line here till you get up to about 10K, a little more, and it starts to drop off some. So good full range uh, kind of audio vocal speakers here. People that know what these are know exactly what they're known for. They're known for their... Uh, kind of their acoustical sound, uh, voice, um, things of that nature. These are a full range speaker, so they're trying to cover the whole spectrum the best they can. And as you can see, the bench setup I've got going now, just driving them with a uh, carry amplifier. And what I'm going to use is the B&K Precision um, frequency generator up here on the top left hand corner. And I'm just going to do some frequency sweeps on both number one and number two so you can hear them. Uh, the tool I was using a minute ago does it so fast it's hard to hear. Okay, we're on speaker number one right now. This one right here. As you can see, I'm at 12 hertz, and you can barely hear it in the background. As I turn up 17, 18 hertz, you can start to hear it a little bit more. Thirty hertz, I can hear it pretty well. Forty-three hertz. I'm going to um, back off the amplitude and go up here to the hundred hertz scale now. Here we go. Fifty, sixty, seventy. It takes me up to four kilohertz. Okay, we're back at four kilohertz. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kilohertz. You can hear it quite well. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can still hear it quite well. Fourteen, I can hear it. Fifteen, sixteen, it starts to drop out. So I lost it at uh, right between fifteen and sixteen kilohertz on speaker number one. Let's do it again on speaker number two. Okay, we're over here on speaker number two at this point, and we're gonna run through the same sweep setup here. Down at four hertz, I can hear it. 15 hertz, I can hear the speaker. 27, 40, 45. Take 
take that back over, get in the kilohertz range. Seven, eight hundred. One kilohertz. Two, three, four kilohertz. Bring it back over. 10K range. Back to four kilohertz. Five, six, seven, eight, ten kilohertz. I hear it quite well. Eleven, twelve. Any popping you're hearing is coming from me. Uh, wiggling things here. 12 kilohertz I hear well. 13. 14 I still hear well. 15 it drops out. So these speakers drop out somewhere between 15 and 16 kilohertz. And last but not least let's play a little tune through both of these. call it a wrap. So as you can see both speakers work uh, very well. They both perform well on both the frequency response as well as just a walk through um, one end of the frequency to the other. Uh, both fairly well matched. I didn't really notice any negligible negligible difference between the two and um, I think these are everything they are supposed to be as far as uh, vintage Western Electric Altec 755A. So. Hope this is what you're looking for, and if you got any questions, please ask.